realized that my old videos I was a lot weirder. Somewhere along the way I lost myself in the sauce I guess. <laughs> no it's really you just lose yourself sometimes in maybe relationships sometimes or just in adulthood things start to happen that you start to lose the way that you were and I really want to get back to my attitude, persona, statusism, energy that I was doing like five ten years ago on this channel bringing it back to the roots of the channel kind of to be that weirdo again yeah I don't know just something I've noticed and it's cool when you guys see me on here over the years growing and you kind of point stuff out like that where it's like yo I've seen you mature a lot over the years or you're different than from you first started in the videos but it's a good look and I, I, I like to see that you know you guys have been rocking with me all these years so it's cool to see that if you've been watching over the five year mark leave a comment down below let me know where you at because that's a true fan base dedication right there but we today are going to drop a video on Noya Bam. Uh, he is an artist with some epic wicks. So since we're talking about wicks today and freeform dreadlocks, let's smash that like button before we even begin the video. Let's get to 500 likes, no problem. So without further ado, let's get into this dreadlock review. We are looking at Noya Bam in Dola Gang. He is a member with J Dola. So let's take a look and see what Noya Bam's dreads be looking like. I'm gonna pull up on Bing. Don't hate me. Don't hate my Bing life. All right, so this is Noya Bam. Huge ass freeform dreadlocks. That's gotta be the thickest dreads I've seen in this day and age since Bob Marley. So here's a shot of him in the beginning stages of his of his dreadlock journey. Looks like it could have been like a regular retwist type of dealio and he's let them freeform up. But also could just be straight freeforms from the gates. Google actually had more images of the dude, so I'm going to go back to Google. So like images like this, Noya Bam's locks really showing us the Congos Every dread that he has is congoed up and this obviously might have been done with rubber bands because we know Jay Dola does a lot of rubber banding with his hair. Uh, but this also could just be straight freeforming, uh, straight neglection. Obviously still washing it but since they're in the heat, the tropical Floridian heat, it's the perfect, uh, the perfect situation. For his dreads to dry completely so he could be washing his hair every day and letting it air dry which helps create um such big locks like this really cool to see this is the earlier stages of him with with dreads um my only thing is fortunate that we have so many free form dread heads that still consume um dead flesh like we see him yamming on dead pig here um true freeform man woman we gotta get you gotta go natty on your scalp and in your stomach too meaning that you know we don't condone in um rotting flesh in our systems you know idol is vital is all i need to really say right like you know when we grow hair like grass we we should live like grass as much as we can too. diet as well and uh natural on your head natural within natural within natural on the out like kind of what I'm saying you know but anyways enough of that rant I'm going off on a little spiel there I'm gonna take a look at um, a video from 2020 Dola gang in the house let's see what his locks are looking like Wow right off the jump we got some dreads hanging freely there shot a, a shot of his head from the back we can see his locks looking pretty clean no dandruff no hair follicles or anything big ass natties and I love that they wear their hair down a lot. He doesn't. He's not one to wear his hair up in a ponytail too much, I, if at all. Cause we haven't seen any of that so far. Long ass dreads that have been sun bleached there a little bit. You see his locks looking like they're probably just around 10, maybe a bit more than 10 locks, maybe 12 or 13. So we can really see some some length happening. I like the way that his hair kind of frizzes up into balls like that's the loose hair my loose hair works a little different but his loose hair kind of goes in these uh, woolly balls here which is a really cool look 
I mean, for a lot of people, they might consider like palm rolling or crocheting to take in all that fuzz. But he just rocks it. You know, he really doesn't care. And this is the real palm tree look. You know, these are the, the gooks and the globs, the dukes and the globs, the bonks and the wicks that we are familiar with out in Florida. This is that true style looking really fantastic. So definitely big up Noya Bam, definitely big up Dola Gang and the way that they've been rocking their freeform locks, encouraging the thickness in the hair every single day. I mean, that's 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 the side I'm rooting for, right? So, and the more people that we can get locking their hair up like so and then have them also putting naturalness into their body as well is the winning winning situation where it's a win-win for everybody, really. But it's all a transition. It's and that's the best way to really do it. Um, free forms and diet as well. Just transition into it as best you can. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Shout outs Florida. Shout outs Dreadlock Wicks around the nation. And I appreciate you guys participating in today's Dreadlock review. I'm going to go. Until next time, peace out. One loves to happy and natty. And I'll see you guys around. Gone. Adios.